Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. Uh, this is your Excel Guru and I have brought a new formula for you today which is called DGET. Uh, DGET is pretty similar to VLOOKUP but a bit uh, more powerful you can say. Uh, it can give you a lot more data. Uh, very very good, very good. Depends on how you use VLOOKUP or DGET. Well let's say what does Excel have to say on DGET? What does it do? DGET extracts from a database a single record that matches the conditions you specify all right so here i'm gonna try how to do that i'm gonna try to find out uh, if the name of the tree is apple and whether there is a number 75 in the terms in the column profit all right so that's how i'm gonna do it uh, it says dgat bracket open database so i select my database this is my database comma open field so field would be we have to ensure that you select the column name from where you want to extract the data so I collected uh, selected this one comma criteria so uh, when you're doing database sums uh, formula you have to ensure that you create a separate uh, uh, criteria uh, bam, a dashboard where you mention the complete row of your headers in your database and then you mention the appropriate qualifier or the condition for your formula like I mentioned the condition Apple and the profit 45 uh, 75 so this is my condition and I press OK and yes I got the answer 75 it means that yes if this would have been a greater data Excel would have been able to find it for you uh, or even in a smaller data you can see it for yourself that yes there is a condition where there is a number there were in uh, in the column where you have the trees mentioned there is a corresponding number called 75 in the profits column so this is the dget formula for you it can be done in another manner also let us see if this was not have been the case if it would have been 100 what would have happened it would have given you a value so if I type 75 this is good to extract a specific value okay now there's another way to do it you click on the formulas tab you click on the insert function click d get go okay database this is your database tab field ensure to select the column header criteria is this is the criteria okay and you got the answer this is the answer it's a nice formula, however a bit complicated. I would recommend you go ahead uh, to my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com and copy, uh, sorry, and download this Excel file from there. It's for free. All you need to do is go to my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com click on the training files tab and it will open my training files page and you can download the file from there. And yes, one thing I would like you to do is if you believe that what I'm doing is right, if you believe that what I'm doing is should be shared with the world and that more people should come to know how to use Excel better then I would like you to go ahead and click on this link and follow me on Twitter not only follow but share the content go to Facebook click over here go to Facebook and like my page and then share the content this is how my page looks like 99 people are, have already liked it uh, as of now and uh, now I would like you to go ahead and click on the like button and then share the content Go to the YouTube page where you're watching the video and subscribe to me so that whenever there's a new video launched by me, you'll get to know about it. Also, it will allow you to share the video. Also, I believe it can be done without subscribing also. So share the content. I would like you to do that. So this was the DGET formula today. A beautiful formula can be used in so many different ways. Uh, so this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.